Hey guys, welcome back to a new series on the channel. I've had trouble finding an NBA series to stick with. This time I'm going to try the Clippers, and I hope this works. But I just hate 2K this year so much that it's been hard for me to stick with things. So I won't promise this series being done, but I'm going to try and get at least five episodes out. And then we'll kind of go from there. But we are taking over the LA Clippers. And the theme of this is tank, tank, tank. Get rid of these fucking idiots that call themselves a team. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. I hate them so much, dude. We're going to trade them. We'll put together a package for them. Trey Young is crazy. But honestly, the Hawks is probably the best deal. Because DeJounte Murray. Yes. But you give us like. Mm, you don't have enough assets. Let's see. Let's try and put together a 3D. I think I've done it once. A 3 deal. Uh, a 3 team trade. Oh wait. With the Thunder. We need to trade with the Thunder. First of all, How about you get cub? How about you get nothing and like it? How about two seconds? But you really want that pick, huh? How about Kenny Martin Jr. instead of any of this second round pick I don't want Kenny Martin Jr. on the team anyway so you can go to the Thunder Vasilje Milic Micic we get him Davis pretends is a bad contract but who cares we get our picks back which honestly is just what I wanted I just wanted my picks back Swap best with Thunder. Look at this. And just like that, we have a bunch of picks that is actually fire. So we still have, we still get assets now. 27, 2025, 2026, we do not have our pick, I'm assuming then. Thunder, still have it. Yep, they got that pick. You want your pick in this year? Is that what you want? You I just want my pick back, but I don't think it's that big a deal. But yeah, Kawhi Leonard's gone. Here's the thing. First of all, the Hawks. I'm willing to make a trade with a team that has assets, but also a really good player. Now, I'm not getting Cat. I'm not getting Gobert. Jaden McDaniels just got a six-year deal. I remember that that just happened, like, a day ago. Thunder, I'm never trading with you again because you swindle teams. That's all you do. Okay. Sons, how you doing? Do you have anyone that there's nothing I would want? No teams. 
Alright, Celtics are the only guys that I play ball with. But their picks aren't going to be useless. Grizzlies are a team. Jazz are definitely a team I do. Timberwolves. And this Lakers pick. You'd acquire 13 mil more. How about you also get Kobe Brown? I don't really want Cleveland picks anyway. How about you throw in Kelly Olenek? And we give you Amir Kaki. So Kawhi Leonard, that's not enough, I feel like. Three first round picks, John Collins, Taylor Horton, Tucker. You're not interested in Kawhi Leonard. Okay, how about Paul George? Okay. Guys, give me one second, okay? I'm sorry, I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, sorry, I'm trying to put this deal together. I don't know if it'll work. Do you guys want this guy? Do you guys want me some Plumley instead? I'm gonna be honest, I should not be giving you any picks, so I'm not, I, I wanna walk away from this deal. But I feel like this is like a good offer. How about we get rid of one of the Minnesota picks? Honestly, this is probably what Paul George is worth. No Kelly Olenek. The Jazz out. No, it doesn't make sense for him to go to the Blazers. I, I want to trade Paul George, but like, it also, like, I want to trade, make trades and get our assets up. Because this team is expired. I, I really don't think that they're they are anything.
He kind of suck right now. Hornets. Who has the Hornets pick? They would acquire... Okay, this actually works as a deal. Question is, are you willing to do it? What about Kawhi as the in the deal? Want the Thunder pick? Oh, I don't need the Denver pick. Those are the only guys I want. Okay, I'm willing to give you the Thunder pick. Rockets, worst with Nets. Or Nets, yeah. Acquire a first round pick there. I'm fine with trading Russ. I don't really want him, but I don't want to keep. Ah, I kind of want to keep Russ. Plumley, you want Plumley for that? How about that instead? The Nets would acquire one more. Bone silent, and then you give us Cam Thomas. You'd think it'd be easy to put together trades for star players in this game, but it just isn't. The Bucks are big three. Yeah, no, not doing that. I swear this is so hard to trade. Hmm. I think the Jazz is the deal. It's just I don't know who to trade for. to attach in a deal would you like Terrence Mann can we give you this pick that was a dumb trade just gain from that I just realized 
three twenty twenty five picks, the Clippers and the Lakers. Clippers, Cavs, Thunder. We get a twenty twenty seven Lakers pick, like which I think actually is a great pick. Because the Lakers should be bad, LeBron should be retired by then. Now PG thirteen. You're on the chopping block. The Hornets, what the fuck is this offer? And Paul George, bro. What the fuck? They gave up on that really quick. Oh, Paul George to go back to Indiana? That actually is kind of cool. You guys give me first round picks. Or, or, you give me that in the deal. And then we'll give you Marcus Morris. Or, give me Bones Highland too. And then you just can. Any bad contracts, you have Daniel Tice, you don't need them. Twenty twenty seven Clippers, yeah. Okay, so does that mean that we get the Thunder pick too? Yup, it does. Okay. Yeah, because our pick in twenty twenty eight. So we only we still only have six first round picks in the next three years. That's actually not that good, but for to get, to turn that into that that is horrible. But um we're not done. This is an overhaul of this roster. This roster is supposed to be bad. I can't trade any of these guys. I'm trading Zubats. Trade them to the Heat for a first for firsts in 2028 and 2027. Okay, Zubats. I know this is all trades, but it's going to be fine. Rockets. My God. So many picks. You don't have to give us Jay Sean Tate. Give us someone bad. Give us Boban, dude. Damn, bro. Okay, I can turn him into Moses Moody in a first. That's the deal. Why can't I get Rob Williams? What the fuck? They would never do that. I have another offer to get him, though. Because I kind of want him. So I'm going down. I want Moses Moody in a first round pick. Um, Zubats. To the Rockets. This might be a little unrealistic. Unless we give them a, um, a first round pick. We'll give you the Warriors pick. And you just give us Jeff Green or something. We also give you Kobe Brown. K 
Cavs pick. Final offer. You're being unserious now. Wow. So I think this is fair because we gave them two first round picks. We trade them. Okay. Wait, no. Rockets. Rockets. Ro Clippers trade. Ivaka Zubats. Award the Warriors first. Kobe Brown and the Thunder first. And we turn that into. This is all in one day, by the way. There's been six trades. Or, yeah, we fired our GM and I overhauled. Because <laughs> we traded. Look about this. Thunder trade. Clippers. Clippers. Mizach. Bertans. Second round. Second round. We traded Norman Powell. Second round. Second round. Swap swap picks. Kenyon Martin swap picks. Then we traded Paul George. Where's the Jazz trade? I don't know. Okay, but nonetheless, we traded Ivaka, Zub Ivaka Zubats. Um, the Warriors pick Kobe Brown and the Thunder pick. And in return... We got Alperin Sangun, Sam Sangun, Alperin Sangun, who is really good, and I'm excited for. I'm gonna have probably just he's kind of like Walmart Jokic, for being honest. Um, he'll shoot middies sometimes. I'm pretty sure this man can dish to open man, though. He's a really good player, so I'm, I'm excited to have him. Miles Turner's always just so efficient on defense. Jordan Clarkson we have now. I kind of just... And, mm, no, he'll play point guard for us. I'm just going to trade like Marcus Morris and Covington. Especially Covington. What 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 need is there for him on this team? Literally this is a salary dump. And we get Dylan Windler, who's young. We probably could have could have could have got a better salary dump too. Marcus Morris. Olive, Olivier Max Ed's province. He's been on the Clippers for three years. It makes sense for us to trade him. I don't want to trade Brandon Boston, though. All these involve Brandon Boston. I want to keep him. I'm good with trading Brandon Boston Jr., honestly. Moses Moody is crazy. Um, I will trade no one because no one wants to be traded. By the trade deadline, like Miles Turner's probably gonna be gone, Clarkson's gonna be gone, Collins is gonna be gone. I really only want to keep Sangoon. So we're really barely gonna play, but I think I'm gonna simcast this game. We're probably gonna play like maybe one game this whole year. This whole year is a tanking year. We're crushing the Trailblazers, but that makes sense because they only have Scoot. Okay, we crushed them. Let's send through this date. 
No, I'm not trading Brandon Boston. I really don't want to trade him. Oh, yeah, Sangoon, you're, uh, I want you to s start and be like the best player on our team. Because you are the best player on our team. It makes more sense for hit for us to the Rockets probably want to give the ball to um, Jalen Green more. He's averaging twenty four now. Plus you have Van Vliet and I gave you Zubats too. It's not like I didn't give you a center. Plus you get uh, Amen Thompson. So I me taking away Sangoon is like a, not a big thing, but it's definitely not a good thing for them. Lakers. It's the Battle of LA. Ninety eight to ninety six right now. I'm cool with that. Give me something. Sangoon. Alperine Sangoon. The stud. We traded for him for a reason. We saw that we saw the potential in him. I, I like I didn't even think about trading for him and then I saw the offer and I was like, hey, it would make sense to trade for him. I would I don't mind it. After this after this um This game, I think we're going to look at the scouting for this season. Oh my god, AD just shut that down so hard. I'm not going to lie, the defense of this team is going to be rough. Oh, John Collins grabs it. Miles Turner is a great, great defensive player. All right, give it to our point guard. What the fuck? Mitic? Miles Turner just fucking did that in Christian Wood's face. Get destroyed. It's crazy that we got Miles Turner. I, I'm, I'm excited that we brought him in in the Paul George trade. He's in the Paul George. Yeah, Paul George's on the Pacers, right? Yeah, I must have gotten him on the Pacers. Paul George must be on the Pacers right now. I literally forget who I traded to him to, and I just traded him. I'm going to check that after. Clarkson. Oh, my God, what a pass by Bruce Brown. Look at this. Woo. Behind AD. Love to see it. Maybe we'll keep Bruce Brown around. I don't know. Okay, LeBron John James just made Jordan Clarkson look ridiculously silly. I'm watching the end of this Phoenix Golden State game. This shit is unreal. It's 95 96. The Phoenix Suns were up by a, like a lot. They debuffed cash. No, he missed it. I'm giving you a play by play analysis of a game that's going on right now. Sangoon. If you guys can't tell I'm on all-star difficulty, I'm not changing it because of how bad I am at the shooting in this game. Plus, we're still losing. Oh, except he missed a stupidly easy shot because he took an off-balance two. Come on, Sangoon. Sangoon lays it in. He's better than Jokic. Alperian Sangoon. Braun. That's good. Sangoon grabs it. Sangoon. Sangoon just can't fucking score on him. That's a charge, right? Bullshit. 
absolute bullshit right there. It's funny that D'Lo's back in LA after they drafted him number two overall, and then he's, then they let him go because he sucked, and he caused locker room morale issues, and now he's back there. Shangun sucks. Wrong. Shit. Jerry Vanderbilt really just did that. And Braun, okay, they they're they tied the game immediately. Of course Austin Reeves. AR fifteen baby. Oh Miles Turner on the pick and roll. Ridiculous. My goodness. Come on. Damn, he put that in? LeBron's in the way. Jordan Clarkson, come on. Miles Turner just blew a layup. Oh my god. That's the most LeBron thing I've ever seen in my life. Of, by the way, of course Miles Turner blows the layup. Michich, who's the best shooter on the team right now? I don't even know. Let's get Michich open. Had a shot, honestly. Damn, bro, that sucks. We choked. Devin Booker, you missed the easiest shot I've ever seen. I'm watching the, the opening night Warriors Suns game as this is happening. Devin Booker, but he makes a hard shot. Oh, Devin Booker's so annoying. He made like the, the the hardest shot in the world and then missed the easiest. Sangoon. Interesting. I don't know what Sangoon's release is. I might have to switch you up. I'm not going to switch it up. It's a real life release, but it's just tough. But let's look at scouting real quick. Oh, wait. No, there was something that I wanted to look at. Oh, the Pacers. Yep, we traded Paul George back to the Pacers. And he's eating it. He's lighting it up there with Reese as the number one. That's kind of awesome that he went, that he's back. He's going to test free agency, bro. You're with, you're with your fucking hometown team. Are you kidding me? Awesome. Three steals per game. Hey, he's kind of feasting. Um, but yeah, now it is. Now when well, now we're checking our um our draft board, the scouting. Number one recruit projected right now is Alejandro Diaz. Let's actually let's actually go to like November. Let's go to like November twenty second against Wemby. See if I get any more scouting reports. Um, guys, can we stop winning, though? We're not meant to be winning. Is anything... No, nothing's gone up. Okay. Right now, we'd be playing against Wemby. Yeah, Sangoon should play the 5. John Collins should play the 4. Sangoon's averaging nine, almost 19 and 11 and 6 assists. He's playing very well.
He's just not a great shooter, which is fine. But, yeah. Good dubs. Let's sim to the game against the Warriors now. L, L. L, okay. Miles Turner is playing, he's somehow playing worse here, even though, wow, last year he played well, 18 and seven, and two a block. That's a good player. He's a great defender, and I kind of want to keep him around just because of his defense. And then I want the exact opposite because of John Collins, who isn't good enough at defense to stay on the team. Plus, he's on a player option. Huge contract. Bruce Brown, I'm fine with having that kind of a contract. Jordan Clarkson, I'm kind of okay with having that contract, except he's not... Oh, all of his efficiency has dropped. He's 31 years old. Yeah, there's no reason to keep him on the team. Let's be honest here. What is our record? 5 and 12. Let's go to the Thunder. Lose to the Warriors. Lose, win against the Warriors. Oh, who do the Jazz have? Just Kawhi Leonard. And he's saying he wants to re-up with this team. This honestly is not a horrible team. Oh. Yes, it is. And I didn't keep the Jazz pick, did I? Nope, why would I? I don't know why I didn't keep that Jazz pick. What are the Thunder? They're 13 and 7. Try and get that Jazz pick. I don't know who has it. Oh, it's top 10 protected. It doesn't even matter. It's top 10 protected, and if it's that high up, then there's no point. There's no point. Clippers Jazz. I don't see that team being as bad as the game, the game is saying. Dude, this game is so good. 100 to 99 right now. D-Book has it. Double team Kaminga on him. Get absolute. An incredible pass. Okay. I gotta stop watching and playing it. John Collins is 12 and 8 now. Come on. There's Kawhi against his former team in his face. Come on now. Dude, if a guy can do that. We miss Kawhi, but I miss the ability of a guy like that. But I also am happy to have assets and young players. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Obviously, I did not mean to do that. Yep, that's definitely what I meant to do. Shangun misses. Shangun misses again. Clarkson rips it. And it's going to be Clippers ball, right? Yep. Jordan Clarkson just ripped the ball. Let's fucking go. Reach Damn. Bruce Brown, bro. What are we doing? Good defense. Shangun. Good pass to John Collins. Yup. 
Shangoon with a great pass, and yeah. Chris Paul just took a three. Why would you take a three, Chris Paul? Come on, Shangoon. He gets fouled. Shangoon, number 28, the legend in L.A. Such a good trade to pick him up. In the remnants players of the uh, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard deals. Them wanting that is crazy. Did Kaminga just miss both free throw? I'm sorry. That's crazy. Come on. Josh Okogie's a god. This game is going nuts. Shangun just misses. His jumper just isn't like that. It's fine. It's he's lucky that he's a big cuz yeah. Down by four. Stop them on one of these. That's Kawhi Leonard. He's going to make it. Eric Gordon just scored for the Suns. I'm gonna I'm gonna commentate this. Chris Chris Paul has it for fucking thirty eight seconds. He just got called for an offensive foul. Oh no, he didn't. He missed a easy three pointer though, and then Steph Curry hits a step back three pointer because he's Steph fucking Curry. He's Steph fucking Curry, and it was an and one. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was a timeout. Oh, my God. Steph Curry is ridiculous. All right. Is, can I, can I, am I able to scout the players that are good now? Change target play. Yes, I want all the top players. Those kind of guys. Yep. Do not want to give up Brandon Boston Jr. yet. We are pretty bad. Seven and eighteen is pretty bad, but that's and that's fifteenth in the conference. Let's look at what we got. Alejandro Diaz. He can score. Or he can, he's good at stealing. He can score. He's a good mid range J. Twenty one and sixteen, three assists, one steal, four blocks. If this if we want to go away from Sangoon, this is the guy to do it with. He can't really shoot. His playmaking's not great, but oh is he a good defender. And he's got great potential as well. That's a, that's a guy that I would definitely love to see. And he looks to be one. Yeah, he's this is an up in the air draft though. Anyone could go anywhere. Uh so, next one is Kirk Jeffries. 
prototypical Duke guy. Ceiling, Kevin McHale. Of course it is, because he's fucking white. Um, good dunker. Really solid finisher. Look, he, can, he has potential. Very, guys can move, very few guys can move him once he's established. Okay, so he's kind of just a big dude who can rebound. So do you think he would be a, uh, if we were to trade Miles Turner, like a white Miles Turner, if Devin Booker hits this shot? Nurkic puts them up by four. I'm watching this fucking this Warriors game. To the wire. What a game this is, this Warriors game is. Okay, let's go to the next guy. Andre Vincent. Oh, he's a scorer. And he can pass, and he can rebound, and he can steal, and he can block. Oh my god, he's a, he's a two-way player. He can't shoot, though. Scouting Hall of Fame. That means that he's floor Sidney Moncrief. If you're floor Sidney Moncrief, a Hall of Fame player, then I'm totally fine with it. Not really known for his man defense, but he gets the job done. Can score when posted up. Should be able to hit jumpers from 15 feet. So, he's from South Carolina. He can score. He can do, do what you need to do. Let's look at his grades. Solid mid-range J. Good inside scoring. Great, Pretty good passer. Solid perimeter defender. Good at rebounding. Pretty good post defender. He's super athletic. Uber athletic. Basketball IQ is B+. Plus, a potential. B overall. So he's he's good. He's definitely good. Louise Levins. Two-way perimeter threat. So he looks to be like kind of like a Kawhi. Has nice shooting form, hits the long range shots regularly, could develop into an all-star, good potential. Creative ball handling skills will help him get out of sticky situations. Um let's see. He has a good mid-range. Jade can't really score inside. He's a good jumper in general. His perimeter defense is A+. Plus. Hey, man. Chris Paul sucks. And the Warriors lost this game. Chris Paul sucks. He missed like four huge open threes. That's nuts. I'm sorry. Chris... Paul sucks. Dude missed like every open three I've ever seen in my life. God. Hmm. I'm sorry guys, I've been in and out of this video, I was on my phone for one second, um, okay, so we just went through, was at the top four, let's look at the top, let's look at the guys that I think could be solid if we end up like in like the, the 5 to, to 11 range in the draft, um, so let's look at these guys, because I, I have looked at this draft class like a little bit, I think, before, and I just was wondering like, before the episode, like I saw this class and I was like, oh, this class actually doesn't look horrible. So Sasa Golob, he's the, he's the last guy that we have six, like 60% of the way there. Sasa Golob, he's a point guard. Inside scorer, he's a 
abysmal defender. Oh my god, he's an abysmal defender. He's really good at playmaking, though. Doesn't have a great mid-range jumper. Can shoot from three. Can get inside score. He's 6'7", 225. That's a nice height. That's kind of a Luka height. Um, his potential is not great. He has solid basketball IQ. I think this is a... I don't think it's a bust. I think this is like a... A taller Goran Dragic. That's a amazing. Oh my god, I'm really good at life. That is an unreal example. He is a smaller Goran Dragic. Dragic but like... Or, uh, I'm sorry, a bigger Goran Dragic. Um... He's a bad def he's a super bad defender though. That's really unfortunate. But he can pass like nobody's business. Two steals per game, that's great. Russ Finley. Power forward out of out of UMass. Um pairs he's a good low post scorer. Can defend, apparently. Can steal the ball well. Has great rim protector. Whoa. This guy is a really good. He's pretty he's solid athletic, athletically too. He's a good defender. I think this is a guy you draft just for defense, like a guy you come off the bench. So, um, let's go, Jonathan. What 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 a name, Jonathan Shaw. Um, he's the same thing out of Rhode Island. He's twenty years old. He's the same. He's a. I think he's a, a worse but bigger. Russ Finley. Um, he's just a big defender that sucks at offense, which is fine. Those can work in the NBA, but I wouldn't say that's a top six talent, top seven talent. <laughs> is that? I don't think so. He's a pain protector. They have... Okay, Russ Finley is not a two-way mid-range threat. That's a fucking defender. Jackson Boyd. See, this guy's the opposite. <laughs> He's a solid offensive player, but is so bad at re er, uh, defense. But he's a good rebounder, so that's something. He's just pretty athletic, 7-foot, ceiling, Pau Gasol, floor, Maxi Kleber. That's a really high, that's a really, like, far gap. Yikes. Abraham Howard, he's 22, out of Loyola, Maramont. Floor, Danny Ainge, ceiling, Donovan Mitchell. That's pretty good. He's an, so I've noticed there's a lot of bigs here. But he's like the other, uh, he seems to be the second best guard in the class. No, he's not. Uh, he can play defense. No, he's the second, I think he's the second best guard in the class. Because Sasa Golob is a good point guard. He's a really good offensive player. Maybe he is. Actually, he might be a better player. Yeah. I'd say he's definitely a better player than Abraham Howard. But I wouldn't say it's... I, wouldn't, I don't say if it's, if it's that like far off. Raymond Alexander. I think the rest of these guys, I have. There's no chance that we end up drafting them. With the way the season is turning out, so let's sim to the trade deadline. I'm trying to fly through this shit. This season is is a dud anyway. We're trading guys at the deadline, like Miles Turner probably. I'm probably gonna trade Miles Turner. We're 9-22. and 22. John Collins is hurt. John Collins is gone. Oh, my God. That's, like, the most gone player. He's so useless. We're the worst team in the NBA starting off the year. <laughs> we were supposed to be a contender. We were the worst team in the NBA because we traded everyone that was good. Only fucking five picks. Okay, so, John, don't worry. Oh, my God, he's been underperforming. Dude, he hates it here. That man hates it here. Sangoon, yeah, he's 
I think Sangoon's the center of the future. The man from Turkey. That's the center of the future right there. And then Miles Turner is fine. I think um yeah, Collins is the odd man out. Clarkson is just a scorer. I would keep Bruce I'd rather have Bruce Brown than Clarkson if we're being honest. But that's fine. Micic, six assists. I think Sangoon's more of a point guard than you, and he's Sangoon is uh, he's three mil in salary too. Was it worth the Rockets to trade him to us? I say trade and then go to the Rockets. Who did we give up for him? Zubats two firsts and Kobe Brown. Eh, that's not that bad of a trade, honestly. Cause Sangoon was one of those guys that was showing flashes, but it wasn't. He didn't take the next step, and then he took the next step on our team. So, that's honestly not like I thought it was a way worse trade because we still gave them a good center in Zubats, who's having a pretty solid season, not a bad season. He's having like a Zubat season, and then you also get two first round picks. I'm not mad at that if I'm the Clippers or if I'm the Rockets, but you do lose a really good young player. And you chose Jabari Smith over him, who fucking is ass. Let's be honest here. But you guys are ass. And I think you know it. Yeah, we're projected one. Phil Hudson. What are you guys on? I'm not drafting Phil Hudson. And they think, wow, this is... An interesting draft because there's actually not a clear card number one. So that's super interesting. I think number one on our board is Andre Vincent, though. Um, and then I think the only other guy that I would think of if we're taking Vincent is Sasa Golob or Jolob out of Slovenia. Not because I think he's going to be the best player, because I think he's going to be the, an important player on any team. But you guys are having... You guys have Louise Levin down here? Hey man, if I'm able to pull Louise Levin's off at 19, I'm completely fine with that. He's not projected to go that high, huh? Yeah. 2K is projecting him to go... Okay, he's just going up draft boards now. I think Louise Levin is the best... Is the second best... Um, wing in the draft. So... Yeah, that's all I'm saying with that. He's, he's a really good player. Cos, Cosmo, I want you in bed. Dude, stop. You don't have to. I want to. Go to bed now. Okay, then stop, please. One of the trade deadline here. I want to go to the trade deadline just to, so we can deal away John Collins. John Collins and you know what, guys? I'm gonna finish the rest of this recording in the next episode. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.